It's called Hogyoku. I knew immediately how dangerous it was. I think Udahara felt the same way. He tried to destroy it, but he was unable to find a way to undo his own creation. Instead, he reluctantly resorted to another method. He created a shield around the Hogyoku and activated it. Then he enveloped it deep within a Konpaku in order to try to conceal its location from anyone who would want to use it for evil. You know, don't you? You know that's why I want you. Because the place Udahara decided to hide the Hogyoku is inside you. What did you just say? When I learned you had disappeared in the world of the living, I realized right away that Udahara had something to do with it. All Soul Reapers in Gigai are traceable by the Soul Society, no matter where they go. This is because of the Gigai's healing energy. But the Gigai Udahara gave you was different, created by him without Reishi. As a result, it was untraceable. For this offense, Udahara was cast out of the Soul Society. There is also one other reason Udahara was exiled. A Gigai like the one he gave you, one without Reishi, will constantly break down and devour the Reishi of the Soul Reaper using it. He will never be able to completely recover his power. It will fade, and eventually the connection with the Gigai will dim. Finally, the Soul Reaper is reduced to a mere human. Do you understand? Udahara didn't give you any strength. He didn't help you at all. He used you, Rukia Kuchiki. He turned you into a human, just so he could hide the Hogyoku. Well, what's the matter, Rukia? You seem upset. Can I help you? With a gig guy, perhaps? <laughs> Fortunately, before it was too late, you were found in the human world and arrested. I went immediately to Central 46 and killed. Mm-hmm.